Am I the asshole for not handing over my wedding dress to my daughter since it would need to be altered? I have a very nice wedding dress which my own mother made for me. So I have a big attachment to it especially since my mom passed away. I personally do not sew, never was good at it. I have two daughters, one of them has always loved my dress. She is going to get married next year. She asked me if she could use my dress. My daughter will not fit into the dress, it would need to upsized multiple sizes. This basically would be cutting the dress up and adding panels. It wouldn't be the same dress. I told her no, this cause a huge argument. She's pissed I won't allow her to upsize the dress and I am leaving it to rot. I told her my decision was final and I don't want my dress to turn into a new dress. She thinks I am a huge jerk. Not the asshole. I'm not sure why she wants your dress so badly. Wedding dresses are deeply personal and while it's great to pass them down it's not a requirement. I'm kind of surprised she doesn't want to find her own unique dress for her wedding and is so intent on using yours. It's amazing to me how kids erase their mom's identity. Your mom made you the dress. That's huge, mom to daughter relationship, love and memory stuff. It's fair you don't want your dress taken apart. Not the asshole, I wonder though if your daughter didn't like the allusion to her size as compared to yours and that's where the upset came from. Info. You say that she has always loved the dress. Has there been previous decisions of her wearing it when she got married, like as she grew? I will add, if this daughter doesn't alter the dress, what would happen to the dress? Would it just sit in the closet doing nothing? To me, I would think it would be a much better living memory to pass your mother's gift down to her. Maybe you can meet with a seamstress and just brainstorm on ways to get the dress to the appropriate size as well as staying true to the dress's original look. They may even have ways to modify the dress without ruining the original. You never know until you ask, so I encourage you to ask. I don't get the one saying you're wrong. It's really quite simple. Provided you never implied that your daughter could use the dress, it is yours to do with what you wish. If that means keeping it in a closet or box for the rest of your life, then so be it. And your mom isn't around anymore to disagree, so anyone using your mother against you is misguided. This is a precious gift from your mother. Hours upon hours of her love for you went into this dress. It's perfectly reasonable that you don't want it altered. I'm going with not the asshole. The daughter's reaction makes her seem entitled and earns her negative points in my book. No assholes here she can ask, you can say no. You have the right to say no. She also has the right to feel upset about it, especially if the reason is because she's too big to fit into the dress. I imagine that might sting a bit more than just a flat no, because now, it's about her body. Again, neither of you are an asshole yet, but if she doesn't let it go she will be and if you ever let anyone else wear that dress you will be as well. I understand the sentimentality you have for the dress since your mom made it but I can see your daughter's point about leaving it to rot. I was married 35 years ago and my dress is still quietly hanging there in the closet. One day I'll die and it will still be hanging in my closet. I would be so happy if one of my daughters wanted to wear it on their wedding day. And you know what? I bet your mom would love the idea of one of her granddaughters wearing it. Even if it needs to be altered. The dress is just a thing, the memories it brings are priceless. Am I the asshole for refusing my girlfriend's request of peeing sitting down in our home? Recently, me, M24, and my, F23, girlfriend moved into a new place together. Everything about living together and the living situation has been great. Expect when we got into an argument a few days ago about something which I find quite bizarre. She pulled me aside as I was getting ready for bed a few days ago and had a conversation with me, telling me that I needed to stop peeing standing up. She told me it was gross and that she didn't want to be stepping all over my waist when she went to the bathroom. Keep in mind we live in a one-bedroom, one-bathroom studio apartment. Now yes, I wholeheartedly sympathize with women who have to deal with asshole men who act like slobs in the bathroom and I would understand my girlfriend expect I did none of this. No urine got on the seat, floor or anywhere near it, no smell remained in the bathroom, and I always left the lid down to flush anyway for hygiene. I told her this, but she has refused to listen out and has told me multiple times she doesn't want me peeing standing up and thinks it's gross. Now really this is my home too we are splitting the rent, and I think I have every right to piss standing up in my own home and think it's ridiculous. Yo. 
I've been through this. My girlfriend asked me to start sitting when I pee and I accommodated. The nuts she lets me bust in her are more important to me than standing when I pee. Just sit down bro. Info. How does she know that you pee standing up if you don't leave any urine behind? If she's asking you bro, it means that you're just not seeing the piss droplets you're leaving hard. You said no urine on the toilet or floor, but are you saying this from a visual inspection, or are you running your hand across to feel for moisture? Because urine isn't generally neon yellow, and small droplets aren't always noticeable to the naked eye. You know what is noticeable? Stepping or sitting in wet drops, and knowing exactly where they came from. Every guy, no matter how good his aim, will produce flying droplets. Women notice this way more, because we're not standing away from the toilet when we go. Guys don't notice the moisture droplets that are on the inside of the lid, on the seat, on the outside porcelain that touches our legs, on the floor at the very base of the toilet, unless they're big yellow drops that they can see from standing up. You are the asshole. So she asked you something very simple. And now you're on about what's your rights, and what isn't in your own home. Jesus Christ. You are the asshole. I pee sitting at home for this very reason. My girlfriend never asked me, I just don't want to be cleaning piss in my own home. There's lots of videos that show no matter how well you aim. Ting droplets of your piss get everywhere in your bathroom because you refuse to sit down. It's gross and you'd need to wipe everything within a radius of a few feet to get it clean every time you go pee. So yeah you're the asshole if you seriously think it's a big ask to keep the bathroom piss free. Would I be the asshole if I kicked my girlfriend's mother out of my house? I, M27, and my girlfriend, F24, live together. However with that, her mother, F57, lives with us. Essentially her mom was evicted from their apartment a few days after my girlfriend moved in with me, since then it has been utter hell. Essentially the mom does a few chores but does not work, has not applied for jobs, or anything, so she is essentially a leech, and my girlfriend has been kinda the same, she has a few jobs but doesn't do any chores or anything really, I provide for everything and everyone and pay all the bills and for dinners, outings etc. I feel I would be the asshole here because she would be homeless and on the street and my girl is considering going with her if that happens, but I also have no qualms on ending the relationship if she did choose to move out also, so would I be the asshole? Your girlfriend moved her mother in days after you started living together, and they've both been taking advantage of you since then. And your girlfriend says she'll break up if you tell her mother to leave. Not the asshole. Open your eyes already. When you're at the point of describing your partner as a leech, it's over. Not the asshole however I think you'll have to end the relationship as well. Your girlfriend is already showing you who she is, just a younger version of her mother. Just thank your lucky stars you saw her for who she is before you got deep into marriage and kids with her. Not the asshole. Mate, run. You'll work yourself to death providing for these women. Your girl doesn't respect you if she doesn't bother contributing. You're treated as a wallet, best end it now before you end up with a baby as well. Dude, your future is right in front of your face. Run and never look back. And ta, don't fall into the trap of supporting dead beats that leech off men. Her mother moving in was the plan. Not the asshole but dump them both. I feel I would be the asshole here because she would be homeless and on the street and my girl is considering going with her if that happens. Her unwillingness to get a job and stop being a leech is not your problem and what your girlfriend does with that is also her problem, not yours. Also, highly suspect the eviction was intentional or a lie. Your girlfriend identified you as a mark and they are both taking advantage of you. First thing you do, is make sure you don't get her pregnant. How convenient she got evicted once your girlfriend moved in with you. Hmm, interesting turn of events. How do you feel about the idea that mother and daughter are using you? They are only interested in what you can provide and are simply leeches? Am I the asshole for not giving up my spot in the bathroom line for small children? The other day, I, 33 female, went to a farmer's market at a local park. I have a very weak bladder, so as soon as I felt like I might have to go, I went to the bathroom, which had an extremely long line. By the time I made it so I'd be up next, I really had to go it was an emergency. Out of the corner of my eye I see a mom and her two small children, probably ranging from 2-4 squeezing past everyone to get to the front of the line. As she comes up to me, a stall opens and it's my turn. 
She tries to get my attention to skip me, but I ignore her and go do my business, barely making it. When I come out and wash my hands, she comes out the next stall and gives me dirty looks and makes a show of having her kids thank the ladies who let her skip the line, causing other people to give me dirty looks. My brother took my side, but one of my friends said that I could have used the empty men's restroom if it was that bad of an emergency for me. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. There's no great social expectation to give priority to young children in this situation, and insofar as anyone might expect that of you. The reason is that children have worse bladder control and are more prone to accidents than adults. When you're in exactly the same spot, in terms of urgency, as the kids, then whatever minimal obligation you might arguably have had, no longer exists. Not the asshole. You have a legitimate need to use the bathroom now. People who can wait should let small children go ahead of them but you're not one of those people. That mom needs to learn that not everyone can afford to let her go first with her kids. Not the asshole. When you gotta go, you gotta go. I wouldn't have let them ahead of me either. Not the asshole. Adults can have bathroom emergencies too. And some people with disabilities can't wait. It's beyond time people stop making assumptions about people and what their bodies can handle. Not the asshole. I'm so tired of parents expecting everyone to accommodate their children. Not the asshole. It's time for you to stop caring what strangers think of you. You will most likely never see them again so who cares, off course with parameters.